Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing with uh, Protopasta's conductive uh, filament. So this is a PLA version of their conductive filament, and uh, I've been having a bit of a time getting used to printing with this, so I kind of wanted to share some of my learnings with it. So number one piece is it prints, you have to print hot with it. So I'm printing right now uh, this PLA at about 235 degrees C. Uh, I'm getting good layer adhesion because when I print with roughly um, normal temperatures, you can kind of see what's happening. Uh, the adhesion is really poor and uh, this was printed at about 210 degrees C and uh, very disappointing results in this and so I, obviously I had to scrap it so uh, again I wanted to share that so again prints hot the other thing is is it's um, at, at least the stuff I have is very brittle so one of the pieces I want to do is I'm going to shift you guys over because I want to show you how this feeds in so hang on a quick second Okay, now that we're cut over, one of the big pieces I have had is usually when I feed this in, um, it just sort of loops around and feeds up here. And I haven't had a problem. I've been using the tarantula like this for about a year. The issue I keep having is this keeps breaking uh, because it is so brittle. And uh, you can kind of see over here, if I pan down a little bit, I, I jury rigged this setup here just to kind of taper this back and I've actually got the spool sitting way off over there kind of spooling out and I'm manually kind of feeding out several loops at a time for this um, to kind of keep it from breaking and then kind of keeping this angled and it's you know feeding through here so I've gone through two iterations where it gets about halfway through and then it breaks off uh, because of the angle uh, that it gets up here. So again, I've had to kind of keep jockeying and watching this up. A uh, bit of a problem there. Uh, outside of that, uh, everything else seems to be pretty much PLA-ish. So um, again, kind of want to share the dynamics. And, and I'll share this project over here that I'm working on. Let me pan over here. Um, this is for an upcoming episode of an Atom Smasher that I'm building. Yes, a 3D printed Atom Smasher. So stay tuned, especially you, Tesla. So. Uh, you'll get a big kick out of it. So anyways, wanted to share that. So just in summary, big points of printing with protopasta, a conductive uh, PLA. Number one, print hot, about 230, 235 degrees. Uh, my suggestion would be do a test print first before getting into your main print. The stuff is rather expensive, so uh, that, that would be the other suggestion. Uh, also, be uh, it, it requires a lot of attention to make sure it feeds through and doesn't break because it breaks very easily. If you look at it the wrong way, this stuff tends to break. So uh, you have to kind of keep a close eye on your print and then also watch the bends in it because you notice kind of the, the sweeping taper I have. It, it can't take a regular one. Also, notice how the, it retains the um, shape of the spool. I don't know if you can kind of see it here, but it remains kind of round and springy rather than kind of straightening out. And I know this is rather common for PLA, but this stuff is is the is bad uh, from that standpoint. So, anyways, hopefully this helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, again, Swag Shop will be up over there. Hit me up in comments below. And let me know if you have any tips for printing with this. I want to do a lot more stuff with the uh, conductive filament. So if you have tips, I'd like to hear them. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe.